Hey guys, here's Fesmid Tutorials and the two days. Hammer tutorial is about how to make two or more buttons activating one door. Okay. Tools. So it's pretty simple at all. With pretty simple I mean extremely simple. Okay, Portal 2 offering tools better. So it's the same thing as in Source SDK, but I never made a tutorial on that, I was too lazy. Let's search for a nice concrete texture. Something, mm, doesn't matter. Okay, let's use this. Let's make a little room at first. Tools. Make hollow. Minus 12 for example. Okay. So we got a nice little room. At first let's set a start point. Here. Uh, where is it? There we go. And second thing. Yeah sure. Let's place the cube. So it's a simple entity, weighted cube, okay that's enough, nice, now we need two buttons, okay, no, here, uh, that's a simple entity, it's a prop. Prop floor button. That's fine. Okay. We got that prop. Now we can copy and paste it. Okay. I took it and threw it on the ground. Last thing. Oh no, we can give it a name at first. No, but, okay. In Source SDK it was much harder to create a button. So this is really good, that they added something simple like that. Okay, now we want to place a door. Damn it. Okay. Drop test chamber door and give it a name like yeah this is really creative okay so that's our door and now we only need three things no two things that are two triggers so <laughs> I love the soundtrack let's search for the trigger texture at first don't need to be very ac accurate now for the tutorial. Okay. And now let's make a second one. Uh, there we go. Okay. Two little triggers. We can copy and paste everything after that. And the second thing we need is the math counter. So it's a really nice entity. It allows you to create something funny like two buttons activating a door. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad joke. Okay. <laughs> let's create a math counter. And we got two buttons, so let's set the maximum legit value to two. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Now we can add two outputs. On hit max, door, open. So it opens the door when it hits the maximum of two. And the second output, on change from max, door, close. 
So that's pretty much it with the math counter. Bring it up a bit so that you can see it a bit more. And now let's tie this to an entity. And make it a trigger multiply. Anything else would be pretty pointless. We don't need to give it a name. And now we can add some fine outputs. So, on start touch all. Part 1. Hm. Press in. Okay. We can copy and paste that. On end touch all. Press out. Okay. Now we need to add two more outputs. Oh, at first we need to check a flag. Physics object, so that we can use that weighted companion cube we just created. Okay. At first on start touch all. Oh, we need to give the math counter a name. I think we can call it counter. Okay. So outputs. Counter. Add. So when you start it, uh, no, when you touch the button, the trigger, you will add one. And when you leave, no, copy paste, when you leave the trigger on end touch all, you need to subtract one. I hope you understand this. Now we can copy all this stuff. Tie this to an entity first. And no. We. Yeah, I think it's better when we just change it to a trigger multiply. We don't need to copy that. So outputs. Paste. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, because that was button one. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're all done. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah. I will compile this really quick. And I see on portal 2. Okay. Uh, counter toot. Counter toot. Okay. Okay guys, here we are on portal 2. I'm firing my laser. And I can see my pants on the ground. Okay. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it's Portal 2 is lagging the hell out of it. So, let's place the button first. Nothing opens. I will stand on the other button. Door opens. I will get away from the button. Door closes. What the fuck is wrong with Portal 2? I really don't understand. But it doesn't matter now. You know now how to do that. And I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Okay guys. Epic win. See ya.